Sorcerer, I need your help. That's why I'm here. What can I do for you? My father. I put some anonymous feelers out on the internet. I found someone who says they've seen him. They want me to meet them in Chicago on the steps of the Chicago Museum of Art at 6 p.m. on Monday. It's a one-time meeting. I've got to get there. Two days from now. What do you expect to find? Answers. Hopefully the truth. Can you help me get to Chicago? You'll need to create some identification for yourself. I'll leave a ticket for you at the United Airlines counter at Port Columbus Airport. Just be careful who you trust. My name is Angela Bennett. I discovered a group of computer terrorists. They erased my life. They made me into a criminal. I am not going to stop until I get my life back. But if they did this to me, they could do this to you. To you. It's a prototype of a new computer. There's a chip inside. It has a security tag that must have somehow triggered the x-ray scanner. Oh, technology run amok, huh? I have an important meeting, and I can't miss it, so am I being charged with a crime here? Let me address that. A young woman sets off a bomb scare. But there was no bomb. There was a flaw in the machine. Using a false ID to pick up a plane ticket to Chicago. No driver's license, no verifiable address. You can't even tell us your social security number. So far, all we can do is book you in as a Jane Doe. You see how that just possibly raises a red flag or two? Well, I explained all that. Here's what we're going to do, OK? We're gonna take your fingerprints, run them over to the FBI. We're gonna find out who you are, clear this all up. You can't hold me here. I've done nothing wrong. We're spinning our wheels, Nick. I guess so. Okay, I, I, I at least get a phone call. Sure, who do you wanna call? I wanna email someone. <laughs> You've got to be kidding. Just, can I have a lawyer? Suit yourself. Dazzle me, Kelly. Well, I think we're finally catching an updraft in this Angela Bennett thing. X-ray scanners picked up her computer at the airport in Columbus, Ohio. They're holding her in lockup. Set the trap properly, bound to catch the mouse. They found her with a plane ticket into O'Hare. Well, Chicago's a nice city, surprisingly livable. Spent some time there after military service. Well, maybe she's a Cubs fan. Losers, not her type. So what do we do? Go in after her? No, I don't think so. Let's find out why she's going to Chicago. Saddle up, Harney. You're going to Ohio. What's in there? That's our forensics lab. What have you done with my computer? It's evidence. I have all my work on it. I, I need it. You'll need to talk to your lawyer about that. Don't worry. I'll take good care of it. Just following the rules, counselor. <laughs> you guys. You got more security here than the Pentagon. The Pentagon doesn't have criminals. 
Oh, yeah. Don't count on it. Hey, Mastro, I hear you people been stomping all over my clan's constitutional rights. Shove it, Daniels. <laughs> Is that your real name? I'm Tim Daniels. I'm your attorney. Please, have a seat. Who sent you? Well, I've been appointed by the court. See, when you have no official representation, the court takes it upon itself to... Right. I know the law. I just want to know where you came from. Uh-huh. Denied your resume. Okay, University of Ohio Law School, class of 89. That's the Ohio bar after only my third try. I'm impressed. Really? My father wasn't. You know, uh, you might not know what to look at me, but we Daniels come from a long, distinguished line of... Why am I here? You don't know? No, I do. I just want to know if you know why am I here. Uh, I... <laughs> I have no idea. I mean, I know, but... Look... All we have to do today is tell you that your arraignment is tomorrow, and then generally I take a statement and... You glib through a meeting, and then five minutes before my arraignment, you review the file, and whatever happens. Right? Because you don't really care, right? Something like that. Look, lady. <clears throat> I get 15 or 20 of these a day. Okay? I do the very best I can. But if I were to invest myself in even 1% of all the, uh, <laughs> cases they give me, I would end up being carted out of here chewing on my earlobes. So, you want somebody else? Fine. You know what? I don't blame you. Here's a pen. Yeah, I'll give you Johnny Cochran's phone number. This is all pro bono work for me anyway. And, eh, never mind. <clears throat> Why do I even bother? Nobody seems to give a damn and have a nice life. Wait, wait. I don't want somebody else. I want you. It's not your fault. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I snapped a bad temper. No, no. It's a good temper because you can't make up that kind of passion in right now. I need the real thing. You seem like the real thing. Look, <clears throat> if it'll make you feel better, why don't we just see what we can do if we can get through this, okay? All right, now, refresh me. Uh, something to do with an incident at the airport and some uh, fake ID. Everything that I tell you is privileged communication, right? You can't reveal it to anyone. Yeah, essentially that's how it works. I mean, I'm kind of like a priest without the celibacy. Okay, I'm going to tell you a story. And it's going to be really hard for you to believe, but you're the only chance I have. You have to get me out of here, because if my fingerprints hit the FBI data bank, I'm going to come up as an international fugitive, a Liz Marks. <laughs> I'm not. There's a, a secret organization with seemingly no affiliation to anyone. They act on their own agenda. They broke into my home, and they killed my friend. They tried to kill me, but I got away, and um, they're relentless. They must have somehow programmed every airport scanner in the country and, and, and made it read bomb scare if my computer went through. It has to be how they tracked me. Okay. It sounds crazy. I know it does. I mean, it sounds crazy to me, and I'm living it. I, I picked up this communication, and they just think I know something. These people, and I don't. And this man, he, he's from the NSA, or he claims to be from the NSA. Wait a minute, the NSA is involved in this? No, no, no. He's not with the NSA, it's a Trelawney is his name, or, I mean, I don't even know if that's his name. Trelawney? Uh, so these, the people, they think you, you know something, or? All I know is that they're dangerous. They've manipulated private companies, uh, secret organizations of all sorts, the government agencies, military operations. I think that they're out to control everything from NASA to the internet. Well, better that than Bill Gates controlling it, huh? Don't patronize me. 
Our entire lives are on computers. I mean, not my whole life. It, it was erased. My home was destroyed. I was turned into a criminal all by computer. And don't even think for a minute that they wouldn't do it to you if you got in their way. What exactly do you expect me to do? I need you to get my computer out of lockup. You can do that, can't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. For a short period of time, it's called discovery. Okay. Thank God. All right. Um, I need you to send an email uh, to a friend of mine. I think he can help me. His name is Sorcerer. My computer has a direct connection to him. Okay. Uh, sorcerer. Uh, <clears throat> okay, uh, Jane. Angela. My name is Angela. Okay. Angela. Now, tomorrow's your arraignment, which means after that, they're going to want to take you across county, so it would be a good idea for you to get some rest. Okay? What, is that it? Yeah. Look, just get some rest and, uh, See what I can do. Okay. Come in all shapes and sizes, don't they, Counselor? You ain't got that right. Listen, you guys still got the baseball pool going on the Indians? The girl mentioned something about a computer. Yeah, it's down in the lockup, but you want to take a look at it before ring me? Nah, I wouldn't know what to do with it. I'm a pen and paper man. Just uh, make sure they take care of it, okay? Seems important to her. So what's the story of this Jane Doe? Well-dressed, well-educated? Not your run-of-the-mill vagrant scale? All shapes and sizes, Tony. I'll see you later. Mr. Daniels. Greg Harney. FBI. FBI? Have you got a minute? It's a matter of national security. What's your name? What's your name? Angela. Desiree. So, what did you do? <laughs> Nothing. And they're calling me an accessory. I was just talking to my boyfriend. How's I supposed to know you had stolen stuff in the back of his trunk? I did one wrong thing when I was 15, and now they're acting like the last 12 years don't mean squat. I thought I had it all figured out. That's what you get for trusting the wrong person. Oh, my God. Man, oh, man. Look at this. This must have just happened. My wife's trapped inside the car. Go ahead, I'll call it in. I got it. Excuse me. Please, ask him to send an emergency crew. She's lost a lot okay, of blood. Okay, okay. Uh, this, uh, this is 71. 71, go. Uh, request for emergency vehicles. We're on uh, 88 West, uh, about two miles past the Cane Parkway. 71, Drop it. On 88 West. Now! 71, come back, please. Angela Bennett? Come on, sister. Let's go. Unit 71, come in. Who are you? Angels of Mercy, Angela. Courtesy of Sorcerer. Sorcerer? How? How did you find me? Uh, sees all, knows all. I'll explain as we go. Don't leave me! Come on! What about her? Uh, I'm here for you. She's on her own. Unless you want to stay here and take your chances. Please, please. You gotta take me with you. Angela, please. Let's go! Look it, come on! Look it, I, I haven't got time for this. Sorcerer's worried about you. Unit 71, you request Sorry. emergency vehicles. Angela? Unit 71, repeat your transmission. Good luck. Unit 71. 
Hurry up! Come on, let's go. Come on! Where's Sorcerer? He said that he would meet me. No problem. He's looking forward to seeing you, Yin. It's where we're taking you. He's waiting to speak with you. Trelawney here. Yes? Yes. Well, it couldn't be helped, I'm sure. You covered all the bases, briefed your team. Yeah. Thought of every possible flaw? Yes. Yes. Oh, so there was a mistake. Yes. Yes, you've taken stock now and... We take full responsibility. Well, that's what I want to hear. No, it doesn't change my opinion of you at all. It also doesn't change our dilemma. It's interesting the way you play him, like a finely tuned piano. And how do I play you, Kelly? Never underestimate my regard for Mr. Harney. He fills a valuable position in the organization, a position either you or I want. Well, that depends on the target. So, what do we do now? We go for it? No, this is not a time for action. It's for analyzing. Analyzing what? Everything. Human error, mostly. You want to be a step ahead? You have to cover every avenue. Mr. Harney learned that today out in the field. But how do you account for human error? Well, you have to account for human error. That's our secret weapon. Without human error, there's no vulnerability, no weaknesses. That's what gives us our edge. Yes. The indisputable fact that the human character is flawed. Thank you for saving my life. Nah, you saved mine. You believe they hadn't even called to let me know she was in there? You're here now. It's nice to have family to rely on, isn't it? You gonna be okay? No. I just feel like I'm never gonna be out of trouble. Oh, no, no. We'll find a way. We just have to watch what kind of company you keep, right? Yeah. I'm gonna stay with my brother. He's good for me. Girl, if you have any problems, you know where to find us, right? Yeah. It was nice to know you, Dad. I'm glad you finally asked me out, Tim. You know, I've watched you around the courthouse. Really? You're so smooth. Everything just rolls off your back. Nothing ever. Marx is wanted on various espionage and weapons charges dating back to the early 90s. Marx, who was arrested late yesterday at Columbus Airport for possession of a bomb, has escaped custody. She is believed to be at large in the Columbus area. Officials warn she is armed and dangerous. On the political front, still unwilling to throw his hat into the senatorial ring, grassroots candidate Joe Phoenix made a surprise visit to City Hall right here in Columbus. I, can't, I cannot believe I said that. <laughs> Unbelievable. Just come this way. Right in here. Very nice. Thank you. So, uh, Shelly, why don't you make yourself at home and I'll go see what we've got to drink. Hope you're not going to be gone long. 
No, I'm gonna be right back. <laughs> Damn it. What are you doing here? I have to have my computer. You said you'd get it for me. It's my only connection. You don't have it? Well, look, I, I, was, I was gonna get it, but it's, it's very... It, wait a second. What are you doing here? Do you have any idea of the trouble I'm gonna be in if they find you here? Do you have any idea of the trouble that I'm in? I have nowhere else to go. I, I thought for just one second I saw some sincerity behind that insincere smile of yours, and I was wrong, and uh, you're right. I wait, 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 wait. Just... All right, I was worried about you, and I'm, I'm glad you came. It's just a real bad time for me. Sam? Oh, I see. I'm sorry, I, uh... I made a mistake. I'm calling no, a no, cab. No, 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 wait, wait. You, you, you just... Stay here. Look, I, I, I'm sorry about all of this. Maybe we can pick up where we left off. <laughs> Not in your lifetime. Drive. I'll I'll call you. Okay. Yeah, give me Detective Mastro. Was there enough hot water? Yeah. Uh, sorry, this is gonna be a little weak. Not as weak as my excuse for not having your computer. You didn't believe me yesterday, not even for a minute. I, 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 did you think I would? No. But I hoped, I, I put my trust in you, and I don't do that. I just, I had no other choice, I just, um... Yeah, well, I, I... Uh... You don't like being a lawyer, do you? I... You know, if I had any guts, I'd give it up in a minute. That's the old saying, I'd rather be sailing. <laughs> you always wanted to be an escaped prisoner? Yeah, it's a lifelong dream. All right, I have to go before I get you in any more trouble. Oh, no, no, wait, 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 Just, I'm sorry, okay? Just, uh, sometimes it's easier for me to be glib than it is to be... <sighs> I didn't mean to say you were making it all up. What part did you believe? Okay, yesterday, you remember? You, were, you said that you were visited by a, an NSA agent who was an NSA? Trelawney. After I left you, I got visited by an FBI agent. He asked a lot of questions about you. What did you tell them? Not much. I don't know much. Remember, mostly he did the talking anyway. The point is, I don't know whether your paranoia is contagious or whatever, but I, I called a buddy of mine from prep school who's in the FBI in D.C. And, and? I am prepared to accept that there is no Greg Harney attached to the FBI. Don't you see what I'm telling you? These people are everywhere. They can find me wherever I am. I... Will you just listen to me, okay? Will you listen to me as somebody who believes that at least some of what you might say may have some basis in reality, okay? I have to tell you this, that every cop in the Ohio Valley is going to be looking for you. I need you to help me get my computer back, Tim. I need to get my computer, and I need to get to a meeting in Chicago tomorrow. Do you have access to the station? Yes, I can, but it's not going to do you any good. But what? I can get in because I have a card, okay? But there's not going to be anybody around to let me in this time of night. No, just stay here, okay? Stay here tonight. I will sleep on the sofa, all right? Get some rest. You know, maybe in the morning things will look different. Look, I may not be a great lawyer, okay? My father laid that one on me a long time ago, so I know what it's like for somebody not to believe you. But what you said in the jail... Angela, it's not true. I, I do care. Check upstairs! What the hell is going on here? Where the hell is she? Mastro, I told you I would bring her in! Sir, you better take a look up here. You're under arrest, Counselor. What? Aiding and abetting. Oh, come on. Oh, you... oh man. Oh. 
How's that for constitutional rights? Second floor, man. Okay, you got the waxing tonight? Yeah. Okay, I'll start with the back. Hey, you. Yeah? Shut the door. What, you brought up in a barn? Sorry, man. Hey, Briggsy, you hear they arrested that pain in the ascot lawyer Daniels? The feds just booked him downtown about an hour ago. Couldn't be. He just swiped in on my computer. 
10 minutes ago. Let's check it out. Cover me. Contact Miller, tell him we got a breach. no idea what it feels like to talk to somebody who actually realizes the mess that I'm in here. I'm surprised I've never seen you around before. I'm sorry, didn't I say? I'm with Daniels, Malden, and Greed. Your father's partners wanted me to drop by personally and look in on you. Uh, now, back to the girl. She got you in this mess. Well, you know, she's got a story, but it's, <laughs> it's like right out of the invasion of the body snatchers. I mean... You know, her life was erased, and she's got shady characters, and they'll... You know, something... Something about this girl made me want to believe her. And then she shows up at my house, so... I call on her, but honest to God, you know, I think I'm doing the right thing. And you were. So this girl came to your place. What did she talk about? Nothing, really. Something about, um... Getting her computer and, and contacting somebody named Sorcerer. Sorcerer? Did you contact him? No. She seemed a little stressed about, about uh, a meeting she had in Chicago, something to do with her father. Does any of this have anything to do with getting me the hell out of here? Of course. Especially if you can help me find this girl. Hey, absolutely. She's going to call me. I mean, she took... She, um... She borrowed my wallet, so... I'm sorry, I forgot your name. I didn't tell you my name. Sir, sir, do you ever get premonitions? Occasionally. Worried about your meeting? No. Yes. I'm worried about leaving him behind. I think he's in trouble. What makes you think he's in trouble? He's been arrested by the police, and I don't think the Praetorians are finished with him. They won't be finished until they get what they want. I know it. Tim Daniels is not your responsibility. Yes, he is, if it wasn't for me. Right now, you have your own life to worry about. Find your father. Get your life back. Don't miss that meeting, Angela. Don't. Hello? Tim, you're there. Listen to me. I can't talk long. You have to be careful. The people that I told you about, the Praetorians, they might be monitoring your phone. I just wanted to call you and make sure you're okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Where are you? I... I don't blame you for calling the police. I was just doing my job. For once. I know. I, um... I'm sorry I took your wallet. I'll send it back to you. I just... I needed your card. Listen, I can come get it. Where are you? I can't tell you. I gotta go. She's at the bus station. Well done, Tim. Just like a pro. Would make your old man proud. You didn't know my father. You'd be surprised who I know. Okay, let's go. 
Tim, we'd appreciate it if you accompanied us, gave us one more helping hand. Listen, I think I've done enough. I'm sure you guys can handle it. We really need to take him with us. He's a loose end. Loose ends unravel everything. Mr. Daniels, your cooperation has been invaluable. I'm sure this will all go towards your record. I appreciate that, Mr. Trelawney. Yeah, Mr. Daniels, Tim, what we're asking of you is not so bad, is it? Who is this girl? What could she possibly mean to you? I mean, you said it. Garbage in, garbage out. But is now the time to have a conscience? To start caring? But so much is at stake? I don't think so. And just remember what we talked about. Find her, ask her to come outside, and then we'll take it from there. To talk? Yes, to talk. Shelly upstairs. I'm a what? Excuse me, this man is a doctor. Okay, uh, back up, people. Give us some room. All right, everybody, step back now. Come on, give him some room. Let's go, please. Step back, sir. Officer, can you call an ambulance? Check the medical request. Oh my God. Ambulance to the Greyhound bus station. Let's go. Let's go. Back, please. Give him some room here. Let him work. Angela, we'll ride with her to the hospital. Which hospital will they take her to? St. Luke's on 4th is the closest. The paramedics in and out. Thank you. Oh, hey, listen, we owed you one. Uh, you have a great brother. Better stay out of trouble. Thanks for believing in me when nobody else would. Come on, Des, we gotta go. See ya. I'm sorry I never trusted you. Something I need to learn. Yeah, I guess we can all work on that one, huh? Listen, this is gonna sound crazy. Come with me. <laughs> I, I can't. No, come on. It, Look, it's not like I'm asking you to spend the rest of your life in a dungeon, okay? We can fly to Papeete and we'll get a boat and we'll sail around the whole world for a, a year, you know, for two years until this thing blows over. I think if the Praetorians get their way, there's not going to be a world to come back to. Wait, wait a second. 
I don't get it, you know? You just spent an hour convincing me that I have to leave the country. Now I gotta get out of here or these guys are gonna hunt me down and kill me now. How is that any different for you? I have too many unanswered questions. The Praetorians and my father, and I have to get my life back. You could start a new life. Not until I solve the old one. All right. Will you do something for me? Will you be careful? Yeah, you too. It's tough to walk away. I know that I have to, it still doesn't make it any easier. You didn't walk away. You went back, made a difference, at a cost. I couldn't leave him there. You didn't find out about your father. Well, maybe there wasn't anything to find. Just another crank on the internet. There's lots of them. What are you going to do? I'm going to find the Praetorians before they find me again. So now you're ready to save the world? No, not the world. Just myself. I want them to stop what they're doing. And if we can find out what they're up to... And then I know it's safe and I can start over. The question is, where do we begin? That's easy. One step at a time. One step at a time. Sorcerer, I need your help. That's why I'm here. What can I do for you? My father. I put some anonymous feelers out on the internet. I found someone who says they've seen him. They want me to meet them in Chicago on the steps of the Chicago Museum of Art at 6 p.m. on Monday. 